So we need to talk about mass percentage of a particular element in a compound. And to do that, I have chosen this example out of my own research, a molecule, a new molecule that we made recently. And typically when you make a new molecule, you want to find out whether or not you really got what you think you've made. And one of the ways that you can analyze this is by determining the mass percent of each of the component atoms in the molecule. So here's a molecule, again, that we've just made. It has the rather cumbersome name of 2,4-difluorophenyl tricyanoethylene, right? And we're just going to refer to it by its molecular formula. Remember, the molecular formula tells you how many atoms of each type are in the molecule. And so this has 11 carbons, three hydrogens, two fluorines, and three nitrogens. And the question we want to ask is, what is the percent fluorine by mass? What we're going to do is do a little bit of a trick. And the little trick is we're going to assume that we have one mole of material. Now, this is only a trick in the sense that it's very convenient to assume one mole. You can, consume, you can assume any amount that you want at all, but it's very convenient to assume one mole. So let's do that. We're going to assume that we have one mole of this molecule. Now, to determine how much one mole of that molecule weighs, we of course have to determine the molar mass of that compound. And so it's got 11 carbons, so that's 11 times the molar mass of carbon, three plus three times the molar mass of hydrogen, plus two times the molar mass of fluorine, plus three times the molar mass of nitrogen, and that gets us 215.16 grams per mole. And what we wanna know is, what is the mass of one mole of our molecule? Well, if that's the mass per mole, we're gonna take one mole, and that means that we multiply 215.16 times one mole, and we get 215.16 grams. So again, this represents the mass of one mole of our new molecule. And now let's calculate how much of that one mole is fluorine by mass. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to calculate the mass of the fluorine that's in one mole of our molecule. Since there are two fluorine atoms in each molecule, we're going to have to take 2 times the molar mass of fluorine, which is 19.00, and that gives us 38.00 grams per mole. And then we're going to take one total mole of the molecule, so that's 38 times 1, or 38.00 grams. So in one mole, 38.00 grams of it is going to be fluorine. The whole mole weighs 215.16 grams. And now we get to what mass percent is. Mass percent is exactly the mass of fluorine. So this is mass percent fluorine. So we're going to focus on the fluorine. The mass of fluorine in one mole divided by the mass of one mole of our new molecule times 100%. That's how we're going to calculate the mass percent fluorine. If we wanted to do hydrogen or we wanted to do carbon, then it would be the mass of all the carbon divided by the mass of one mole of molecules. If we wanted to do the, the mass percent of nitrogen, it would be the mass of nitrogen. So there's not any um, great mystery or anything special about the fluorine. Again, 38.00 was the mass that was fluorine in our one mole. The entire mole weighs 215.16 grams. We multiply by 100%, figure out what this fraction is, and express it as a decimal, and we get 17.66%. So 17.66% of our one mole is fluorine by mass. And of course, you can do this for each one of the elements. So we can do it for carbon and hydrogen and nitrogen, and I've worked out what the answers are. I'm going to let you figure out what hydrogen and nitrogen are, the percent that is hydrogen and the percent that is nitrogen by mass. We'll let you figure those out. But as a hint, for carbon, the way I came up with 61.40% is the mass of carbon in one mole is 132.11 grams, and still the mass of the whole mole of material is 215.16 grams. So you should be able to get these two numbers when you divide these and then multiply by 100%. So I left that part off. Multiply by 100%, you're going to get 61.40%. Now, think about it. The constituents of this molecule are carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, and fluorine. And since that's all there is, it has to be the case that the sum of all of the mass percents has to be everything which is 100%. So if you add 17.66 plus 61.40 plus 1.40 plus 19.53, you get 
99.99%, which is essentially 100%, there's some little rounding error that we're not going to worry about, that accounts for everything. So you can always double check your calculations because the sum of all the mass percents has to be equal to 